so cute. You all mean so much to me, so. That's Sailor Moon. My lashes are pretty much non-existent. Hello, it's Elle and welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Wednesday, August 25th and if I sound a little different, it's because I kind of sort of lost my voice over the weekend because I just got back from Las Vegas. I celebrated my sister's bachelorette with a few of her friends. I have a separate video on that, but I had a lot of fun, but I did need some time to recover, especially because I am such a huge introvert and it was a lot to take in, but I still had such a blast with everyone and getting to know all of the girls. Um, so yeah, yesterday I took a whole rest day. That being said, I really, really need to get back to work today. I have a ton of emails that I need to go through to respond to some of my clients that I am currently working on. I have an exciting project with Boba Guys again. I can't share much information yet, but I will let you guys know more about it in my next vlog. Um, I also need to work on my Patreon mail. My August rewards have to be mailed out by the end of the day, and luckily all of my stickers are arrived while I was away so I'm excited to open this up. The theme for my August rewards was space and I designed this really cute space cow and it says Milky Way on it and I just think it's really adorable so I can't wait to see how those turned out. So yeah, once I open this up I am going to package all of my Patreon mail and then head to the USPS by the end of the night to get those to my patrons as soon as possible. So yeah, that is the agenda for today. I also want to point out that this is totally a fake sleeve. Over the weekend, me and my friends just put temporary tattoos on and I kind of wanted to see how it would look if I had a sleeve just for like future reference. I actually really, really love it. So I probably will end up getting a similar tattoo in the future. Maybe not a flower, probably like a dragon from Spirit Away, which is something that I've always wanted. But yeah, this is not real and also I have a new shelf on my wall. It's shaped like a crescent moon. I think I showed it on TikTok or on Instagram, I'm not sure, but I finally was able to put this up thanks to Sean. So I'm still figuring out how I want to style it or what I want to put on the shelf, but I think it's really cute since I already have cloud shelves. <laughs> so these are the august patreon stickers and i've always wanted to illustrate a cow maybe it's because i went to uc davis i don't know but with this theme i just thought it'd be really fun to make a space cow and i thought it was funny to have milky way at the bottom of the ufo ship and to make this look like udders so yeah very random but very fun and now it's time to package these up so i feel like this video is going to include a lot of unboxing just because i ordered a lot of things before i left for my trip and a lot of them actually came later than i thought and the packages were delayed so they kind of just stacked up all at once one of them being my lazy oaf sandals and they're the pink ones with hearts that i've been eyeing for like an entire year but i just could never get myself to splurge on sandals but i experienced getting my nails done for the first time and now that they're all cute and stuff i thought that i would finally invest in sandals and these ones really caught my eye they're so adorable so i'm gonna open them up right now and i'm excited to see what they look like in person i own a couple things from lazy wolf already they're one of my favorite favorite brands following them for years so I'm really happy to support them, especially because when I did start following them, they were a small business and I'm just so, so inspired by the brand and it's definitely something that I aspire to be hopefully in the future. So yeah, let's open this up. Also, I got this at Nordstrom and I saw that Radia posted like on her Instagram stories that they had them at Nordstrom.com and they've been sold out for a while so I had to hop on it super quick. So here is the box that it came in and it was a collaboration between Melissa and Lazy Oaf. The box itself is already cute. I'm definitely going to keep this. Oh, so 
these are what the sandals look like. Aren't they so adorable? Like, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> they have hearts on the front, and I really, really love how chunky it is. I hate wearing flats, and I just really want the sole to be super thick, especially because I'm really short. I'm five foot, so... Yeah, this will definitely help me look taller too. And I love the color. I think it will go with a lot of the things that I own. Obviously, I wear a lot of pink. My hair is pink. So yeah, so cute. I'm very happy with these. I also just noticed that the back is Velcro. So it's super, super easy to put on. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. Yeah, I really like how easy it is. And there's like no like metal or like buckles you know i'm gonna try them on real quick to see how they look okay good it fits i was actually pretty worried about it not fitting just because like shoes are pretty weird sometimes and i'm usually a size six but sometimes i'm a six and a half <sighs> luckily it fits so i'm gonna put it on and show you what it looks like which is gonna be a little bit hard because i don't like have a full body length mirror or anything <gasps> so cute so cute! Okay, this is awkward. They are so, so comfortable. I just walked in them and it feels like I'm walking on clouds. I don't know why I didn't get this any sooner, but definitely my new favorite pair of sandals are actually my only pair of sandals, but I'm obsessed. And transition. So this next package that I got was actually a gift from someone on TikTok. They make slimes. They're called Slime Fantasies. And they reached out to me and asked me to choose a few slimes that I really liked from their website and I was so happy because I don't know if y'all know this but I love playing with slime and honestly it got me through a lot of the pandemic last year because I have anxiety and I also have like a fidget spinner and all these things that really help me cope with things like this so having slime too is just really great for anxiety honestly. They look amazing online so I'm very very excited to play with them. I haven't bought slime in forever actually. Oh, okay. So it came with like a little note. It says L on the front. Thank you so much, Tina. Super cute packaging. There's a lot of <laughs> these little like um, styrofoam thingies. So the first one that they sent me is, okay, this one is called birthday cupcake. What's this? Princess bread. That sounds really cute. The next one is a unicorn ice cream. That one looks really, really pretty. This one is mint chocolate or mint chip scoop, which is my favorite ice cream. So very happy about this. This one is mint chip scoop, which I think you mix the two together, I think. But yeah, thank you so much, Tina, for sending me all of the slime. I'm so excited. just finished packaging all of my patreon mail i'm so so happy that i was productive and i was able to finish everything but i am tired so i'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the night i am gonna head over to the usps in a couple of hours though to drop off all of my envelopes and packages but yeah i will see you in the morning Good afternoon. It's been a couple of days since I last vlogged and yesterday I pretty much spent the entire day just working on emails and finishing up a contract 
And if you've ever worked on a contract, you know how tedious and time consuming the entire process can be. You just want to cover all bases because anything can happen and you just don't want to put yourself in a sucky situation. So it's so important to include things like what happens in the event of a cancellation, how many rounds of revisions there are, payment and all of that information. So yeah, now that the contract is finished and the client approved it, thankfully, um, I've just been talking to my manufacturer all morning to produce t-shirts and if you don't already know i do wholesale and one of the clients that i've worked with in the past ordered more weirdo t-shirts from me which i am so grateful for unfortunately there's just been a lack of resources when it comes to production especially because i get all of my apparel produced locally in los angeles where there's just a ton of other small businesses so yeah it's just been a really slow process but i am hoping that i can send out all of the t-shirts to the store as soon as possible the last thing that i've been working on are my patreon prints for august and I don't know about you, but every time I come back from like a vacation or a trip, it's so hard to get back into the groove of things and be creative. So I was really struggling in the beginning with figuring out a concept for the print, but thankfully I was able to design something that I really, really love and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I ended up drawing a little cereal box concept called Cherry Bombs. So yeah, let me show you how that turned out. This is the final design that I came up with and like I mentioned, it's supposed to be a cereal box design. I called it Cherry Bombs because I created a sweater a couple of years ago that says Cherry Bomb Gang and I don't know, I just thought it would be really fun to include because it's something that I created early on in my freelance journey so yeah, it has a special place in my heart. Um, I also include this little free sticker shout out because if you're part of my highest tier, then you also get this sticker in addition to this print. But yeah, I can't wait to see the final print design once it's out of production. I just got back from the P.O. box and I got a really sweet surprise. I got a package from one of my patrons, Bernadette, and I just want to point out how thankful I am to anyone who takes the time to write me a letter or send me a package. I appreciate you so, so much. Honestly, I don't have many friends in real life, so it just makes me so happy to be able to connect with so many people all over the world. I feel like I've gained so many friendships online and you all mean so much to me. So yeah, enough being sappy. I'm just gonna open this up now. I'm just gonna rip this open. So it came with a little letter. There's this little envelope as well. I wonder what's inside. Oh wait, is this? Oh, this is Studio Ghibli. Oh, it says Milk Cap Series. I've never heard of this before. Oh, is it like a little blind bag? Oh my gosh, I don't want to ruin this. I'm gonna open this as slowly as I can. But also, I'm very excited, so I got it open. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, ooh, this is so cute. It's just like a really big pin, and on the front, it has Totoro on it so cute oh my gosh this is so pretty i don't even know where i'm gonna put this i feel like this needs to be tucked away so that it doesn't get ruined now i'm gonna open the letter that she sent me i just noticed the envelope it's so cute it's hello kitty oh, thank you so much bernadette i'm so happy and i will definitely take great care of this pen it's beautiful so thank you so much for writing me and sending me a little gift hello hello today is sunday august 29th and it's around 4 p.m right now i know i know it's a pretty late start to my day but i ended up sleeping like around 5 a.m and i woke up at 1 p.m and honestly i've just been feeling so exhausted since i came back from my trip just catching up on work and yeah 
I still have to get into the whole flow of things, so I'm not gonna be mad about it. But I do need to get my day started, so I'm gonna make myself some yogurt and probably some coffee. <laughs> I'm about to make my coffee, but I wanted to show you this really cute glass that we picked up from Home Goods recently. It has all of the Peanuts characters and it's Halloween themed, so we had to pick it up. It's so adorable. So I recently started using this coffee creamer by Trapani and it's honestly one of my favorite coffee creamers that I've ever used. It reminds me of the Starbucks vanilla sweet cream cold brew and it's a lot less calories than a lot of the other creamers so yeah this is what i've been using so if you've been looking for a creamer to use definitely check it out because it tastes amazing So I know that I've already done a crap ton of unboxings in this vlog already but I really really want to film this on camera because I just got another PR package from Rare Beauty and they are one of my favorite favorite beauty brands and I don't know I'm just still like so grateful to be on their PR list in the first place because I am not a beauty blogger in any way so for them to even put me on the list and send me stuff is just, it's crazy. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna unbox this now. Ooh, so this is what it looks like inside. It has the beautiful Selena Gomez on the front. I think this might be like their new mascara, I'm not sure. I remember seeing it on their Instagram though. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I was right. It's their new mascara. So this is called the Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara. And my lashes are pretty much non-existent. So I really hope this works. Plus, I don't own that many mascaras. So I'm very, very excited to try this. <gasps> I got Sailor Moon. Me, so cute. So I think I'm just going to spend the rest of my day just finishing up the first draft of the infographic that I'm working on for Boba Guys. I'm not sure if I talked about it earlier in this video, but if I didn't, I'm basically designing something for the walls of their new location based in Oakland. And before Boba Guys bought the shop, it used to be a dryer's ice cream parlor, so it has a lot of vintage pinks and golds, and it's just so freaking beautiful inside. I have yet to see it in person, but I'm so excited to be able to design something for the store. So yeah, I'll show you what the store looks like. I don't think I can show you too much of what my first round looks like, just because it still needs to get approved and whatnot but yeah so for better context i'm giving you a peek into the creative brief that they sent me and this is what the store location looks like like i said it's super classic i love all of the pinks and the golds and this is the area of the store where my infographic will be featured it's basically just a corner of the store where they're gonna have their merchandise here on the left and on the right side is where my infographic will be so I'm pretty much going to spend the next few hours just focusing on this infographic. Probably my whole weekend actually, just because the first draft is due on Wednesday, which is about three days from now. But I have really good progress so far and it's turning out really, really cute. I wish I could show you, but you'll have to wait until my next video to see how it turns out. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. This is definitely going to be a super short and sweet video as opposed to my other vlogs, which are usually pretty chunky, but I still hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I will never let this go Wait until the final show Where I'm shedding love